There's drama in the building. You know, I had all these questions here for Mark. By the way, who does a fabulous job. Hey, and me and Xander say it all the time. We love the guy coming on here. I do, actually. That doesn't mean we're going to go soft on his ass. <laughs> but I do want to ask him a Cowboys perspective on this. And then we'll give Philly 500s. I'm not taking sides here on this. But don't tell me there's not shit going on in that building. Please hit the like button. Here's Mark Holmes. Oh. Hey, how are you I doing today, man? What's going watching on? watching a little bit of my show lately. Have you been watching today's show a little bit? Your show? Yeah. No, man. I've been kind of busy. You know, I'm out here helping old ladies and things. Uh, what? What? Did I miss something? Okay, so I want I want to throw something at you. So, uh oh, throw throw some shit at me. An employee of the Philadelphia Eagles came out yesterday and is a sideline reporter of the team and is a known legendary sports talk show host named Howard Eskin came out. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, Howard's big time. And Howard came out and said this, that if Jalen Hurts does not have a great 2024 team season, they'll begin the process of Carson Wentzing, Jalen Hurts. You know, that's an employee of the team. Yeah. Yeah. How's it feel to be the Cowboys right now? A lot more calmer and a lot more quieter. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not kidding here. I want to. I want to show you a little bit of the drama that's gone on. I, I, no, actually, I have been watching because. See, I was going to say I, I don't need to give you my perspective because I'm just a hater. You know, I'm gonna. I'm. I, I'm going to be the one that's always going to say that your team has got issues, like with Kellen Moore and the offense. And when they came out and said 95 percent, now somebody's saying it's only like 25 percent. Sounds like Jalen Hurts maybe sees the writing on the wall and wants to get out. He's trying to hit the eject button. He's trying to stir some shit up and maybe want to get out. Here's some of the comments, and you broached on one of them there. So the head coach, Nick Sirianni, a couple of weeks ago came out in a press conference saying that we're going to blend the old and the new. And Jalen Hurts came out and said what you said, that the offense is 95% new. Mm-hmm. Um, Jalen was asked if he likes the offense. He goes, it's too soon to see right now because I'm not sure. The employee of the Eagles came out and said, no, it's 20% new. Um, then the employee of the team came out and said, well, what I'm hearing is that if this thing doesn't go well in 24, they'll start the Carson Wensing of Jalen Hurts. I'm just saying to you, I mean, it just sounds to me that the Eagle front office, and you had Jeff McClain, a reporter for the Inquirer last week, going like this and saying that last week the front office was not happy with the way Hertz was not playing ball mm -hmm. with the head coach. I mean, you are the perfect person to ask because your entire organization is built on drama. <laughs> yes. But here's the difference, though. I think our what, drama... The Eagles win? Well, no, no. Just, just hold on for a second. I think the drama that's built up for the Cowboys is done to keep everybody talking about it. I don't know that all the drama is necessarily as real, okay? Because I think, here's the thing. If I'm Dak Prescott in this contract thing, why do I need to be pressed on this thing? I've been paid before. I'm either going to get paid by the Cowboys or I'm going to get paid by somebody else. I, I got the you know best uh, agent that's handling this stuff. I, I basically, I'm playing right now because I love the sport, and I'm going to get paid big time by somebody. There's no pressure for me. This stuff that's going on, this shit feels real. Yeah. Okay? Because I don't see Dak Prescott having any issues and talking about Mike McCarthy or, you know, that Micah is, you know, throwing anybody under the bus. I'm not seeing the front office throwing the players. You got this as like a circular firing squad. Because I'm sitting there trying to understand this because – didn't they cut Nick Sirianni off at the knees? Basically take they, the play calling and basically nobody knows what he's really doing is his job title, right? He has. Now they're kind of defending him because Jalen Hurts kind of said, eh, I don't know. 
Now listen. So wait a minute. Which side are you on? Are oh, you a Nick? Are you supporting Nick? Or are you supporting or not supporting Nick? Oh, I'm not Nick? supporting Nick at all. But I will tell you flat out. No, here. I'm at the front office. Okay. No, no. I think they're supporting Nick. Now listen, what I want to do. After you cut him off at the knees. You, you make a point here that your stuff is manufactured by Jerry to keep the, the, yeah. the Cowboys relevant in the news because they haven't had postseason success, correct? Yes, I will say that. It doesn't you think this is real day. with yeah. the Eagles and Jalen Hurts? Um, I, bro, there's no way that this can't. This shit is is just being just spinning around, and everybody's. It's gonna be you know kumbaya moments with everybody. It oh, sounds dude, I don't like, believe there's any kumbaya moments. I'm gonna no, give it sounds like in here. Hurts is probably flustered from every year having to learn, spend his summer yeah. learning a new fucking offense. Absolutely. I just got I paid fifty one million dollars. And now I got heart. this guy coming in here who's trying to make me a pocket quarterback with combination routes. And now I gotta learn this shit. Okay, let me get Philly five hundred in here now. Oh, Let's I was I was gonna wonder. In. I was gonna you know what? How you doing, Philly? So you why doing? are you talking family business with a guy that's an outsider? <laughs> You know what? Well, I'm, 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 why why are we talking family business with this guy who literally is so delusional that he is now saying that everything, that all the drama that ever comes out of Cowboy Land, no, is I didn't say all of it. No, 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 no. Let me tell you, you should be scared right now. From right I now till training camp. Yeah, because okay. that's when your cowboy players land in jail, which is the only time your team is on the news. We are in oh, wait a minute. Cowboys Hold it. go to jail I, I, bro, time right bro. now. Hold it. That's Did you right. see the clip of your linebacker was getting hilarious. walked Absolutely down hilarious. by a stripper? Yeah. I thought it was funny. I, I I literally watched it live. It was hilarious. You, you need to cut him and sign her. No, 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 no. I thought he – I thought he was going to make it. Wait a minute. I thought the anyway. linebacker took a role from Howie Roseman and just showed you not to pay Hassan Reddick. You don't pay the hooker. <laughs> hey, that's all right, man. You just don't so, pay the so, hooker wait. too, man. Wait a minute. I, I just think that she's faster than him. That's what bothered me the most. <laughs> that's why I say cut him and sign her. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, he's fast. Come on, she might Philly, be better than I Kobe D, bro. You. Dude, yeah. wait a minute here. Yeah. You see, listen, always remember something here with Mark. No, always, always, he can't go back to winning. It's always about the Dallas Kardashians. Right. So yeah. it's nothing. But this, in my opinion, I agree with one thing he said. You know what it is? This seems mm -hmm. real. And I want to play the timeline out of here for you. Mm -hmm. Two weeks ago. And by the way, I know that you're dumping on Sirianni as well. And Angelo Cataldi yesterday said, Way to go, Jalen, for telling the truth about shit. And I do think he's telling the truth. I think he's fed up. Two weeks, three weeks ago, um, Nick Sirianni comes out and goes, yeah, we're going to mess the new and the old. Jalen comes out mm -hmm. and goes, this is 95% new. Do you right. like the offense? He goes, too early to tell. Mm -hmm. Then you've got Howard Eskin, an employee of the team, coming out going, no, it's 20%. Dude. When you're an employee of the team and a sideline reporter, you're getting that from somebody inside the organization. Then yesterday, see, he he's not a talk show host anymore. He is paid by the Eagles. He comes out and says, if they don't see a better year in 24 by Jalen, they'll begin the Carson Wentzing. I think that's a euphemism because Wentz wanted to be, he demanded a trade, but they still went out and drafted Hurts in 19. I'm going to ask you, with all of this coming out in this offseason here, do you personally think that that meltdown and the internal structuring of how that happened, you think this thing is not carried over, at least into the offseason with all this noise? Hey, shut up, Mark. You have nothing to sit on here with that cowboy thing. <laughs> I'm just enjoying, bro. I'm just enjoying you know, the I, explosion. Okay, you know what? You know, I'll tell you what. Before he answers, let me. I'm a hater, so don't take my word for it. Because I know Shut people. Are, I know people are trying to spin this. Okay, so let me just play a little clip of somebody who's trying to justify everything that's going. Don't on. Don't let him play. Him. Mute him. Uh, mute him. <laughs> and I know that a lot. Mute of him. Don't mute him. Don't mute him. Agree, but that's mute fine. him. My interpretation of what Jalen Hurts said. Him. Was mute him. This. Mute he him. Was not mute trying. Him. To you trash know. Nick Sirianni publicly, but he what? also is this guy dumb or what? 
exit. I, wait well, a minute, Mark. Wait a minute. I don't he's think playing he's playing a clip of me while I'm here live. Upset. He's not lying enough. Does that make and any sense? When he lies, they <laughs> well, love does this it. make any and sense? This guy's playing a clip of me. Protected at all costs. You got to mute this shit. Lie, okay. Won't give you. So I'm going through here, Philly, and using what you say, where you're trying to spin Why, why are you story. talking? Why are you speaking? Why am I speaking? Yeah, here. why are you speaking? Because him, I was brought on here to speak. Let, let him me answer. While I'm freaking here to tell, to answer the question. Explain that to me. Go ahead, Philly. Go ahead. Go ahead. I want to hear, hear It's, your it's absolutely on. ridiculous. You know, I mean, dude could cherry, cherry picks videos all day of me. Listen. The, 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 the situation with the situation with Sirianni uh, and Jalen Hurts is this: I really think the Eagles spilled the beans with this whole thing because I think they reacted to what Jalen Hurts said in a way they didn't need to, and I didn't even believe that until a day or two until Howard Eskin comes out. You are right. Howard Eskin works for that organization. Now, I don't believe his threat. I just think he's talking out his ass. No, no, wait, no, Philly, fact, don't you think? The, I said this, the fact that, Yeah, but the fact that they're letting him go out there and and say something, uh, yeah, th there's, there's a reason why. Listen, I agree with you, and I'm going to tell you what I think they did because Jeff McClain last week also reported from the Inquirer. I was just telling Mark, that they went like this. By the way, I'm going to get to your fucking ass, too, with that Dak deal. And all you guys <laughs> sitting around with the Cowboys. Hang in here for a second. Okay, we'll get but to the it. one thing we'll that McClain did say, that they were pissed off. Maybe this was a subtle shot, of, uh, shot, shot across the bow here, Philly, where they went like this to Jalen. Play along, go along, or you may be moved along. And it's an idle threat. It doesn't mean that they're going to, but they're letting him know through a – through an employee who goes on, that's the flagship station, a 50,000-watt station of the Philadelphia Eagles where a guy, a Philly, they, they tell the coaches and the players to retract comments and to quantify their statements. You're not going to have this guy go out there and retract something if it's not real? He's the employee yeah. of the team. I Listen, there's no way Howard Eskin, who always is an apologist for the Eagles, comes out and says something if there's not something to it. Like, I think the front office was pissed off about yep. the comments Jalen Hurts made. But I think they totally overreacted. And I also think that this thing was much more of a media question, and they gave it a lot of validity by coming out and leaking that they're upset. When it was leaked out that the Eagles front office was happy, I shoot shoot it. But when Eskin comes out and says it, then I think there's teeth to it on some level. Now, I don't think they're going to get rid of Jalen Hurts or anything like that. I don't think it really matters. I think Heskin is just is saying something to basically say that the organization isn't pleased with Jalen Hurts not having uh, Nick Sirianni's back good enough, which I don't understand at all. And I don't understand how they could be upset at Jalen Hurts for saying what he said. He did not say anything wrong. And hey, if you Mark, look at what that are you original laughing question, at? The organization, I'm just the organization of the Eagles is yes. going through what winning happens when things happen winning and happens. you're so close. You know what happened with you guys? You guys go nothing. along the same way. Right. Nothing. You know, nothing. And the only thing you argue it, over funny. is contracts. It, it's oh, that's true. We argue you don't contracts. argue over you know, you know what's interesting. You know what's interesting right now? You know where my quarterback is? He is at for a tight end you, where all the great tight ends are all working out and everything else. What quarterback? You know where, you know where Jalen Hurts is working out right no now? Contract extension. Okay, but it's okay. He's going to be fine. One way or the other. into the final year of their year with no contract extension signed. Dak Prescott has before. Dak Prescott franchise tag is going into the season that with no. Can bro, you name bro. another quarterback in the it last five Listen, years the that went way, into bro. a regular season with no deal? Bro, None. The Cowboys have probably used more franchise tags than any other team in the NFL. D-Law, franchise tag. Last Ooh. year is deal. Oh. D -Law, you, you, act like, you act like they're, they're so Pop, great with what they're doing, but you never – Like you it or not, not like it, playoff. this is the Cowboys' way of doing business. I, I, I love it. I and love I can it. I'm glad I will guarantee you this. Thank I will God. guarantee you this. 
Here we are talking money. Mike again. is not going anywhere. CD's not going anywhere. Dak's not going anywhere. At least the at problem the moment, with the Cowboys the is they are afraid the, to make the get, tough cuts. You know oh, what? You, 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 bad, bad you ever see a guy talk about somebody else's money so hey, much as this let guy? Let me show you something, oh, Mark. You know what the problem with the fucking Cowboys is? <laughs> Those the guys, problem? the problem with the Cowboys, they're afraid to make the tough cuts. And I'm going to show you why. You know what New England did? I hear you Richard that. Seymour had a lot of Hall of Fame football left. What did the Patriots did. do? They went like this. You're out. He went to Oakland, and he ended up becoming a pro bowler. You yep, know what they did. did to Stephon Gilmore? You want a deal? You were just named yep. the coach, the corner of the year, defensive player of the year. They moved him to Carolina. Dude, they made the and tough New cuts. England. Look at what Kansas you City. You ain't New England. Speed. They moved I, up for speed. I, 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 